हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज राजीव रंजन अ स्टूडेंट ऑफ एम टेक सी एस ई फ्रॉम बैनेट यूनिवर्सिटी हेयर आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट अ वीडियो ऑन वन ऑफ माई प्रोजेक्ट वर्क टाइम टेबल जनरेटर आई डिड दिस प्रोजेक्ट वर्क अलॉन्ग विद माई क्लासमेट मिस्टर श्रेयांश जैन यू नो एवरी स्कूल्स एंड कॉलेज हैव बीन वन इशू दैट जनरेटिंग अ टाइम टेबल एट द बिगनिंग ऑफ द सेशन दे जस्ट क्रिएट टाइम टेबल मैनुअली and lots of amendment has been done throughout the session so therefore to overcome with those issues we have created time table generator it is a software which will automatically create a time table so let us know about the time table generator time table generator is automatic software to create regular time table for different courses it takes all the inputs as per the requirement of time table for the particular course it is very efficient and helpful in reducing the manual time required to create time table and it provides the errorless time table with optimum use of resources available so for the creating this project we have done done some programs i will uh, show you it here so uh, this is the programs uh, which is done in uh, c language and uh, after execution of this program we have come with the you know total automatically software that is time table generator uh, we have to just uh, give the inputs the different type of inputs it will ask a uh, uh, various kinds of input and we have to just put a input and it will automatically create a time table for us so this is all a uh, you know uh, uh, coding part and uh, this part will be uh, described by the by mr shreyansh jain in next part of the video but here i am going to show you a small demonstration of this particular project work so let's see it here so uh, this is the terminal uh, window Uh, where i am going to execute that program which i have shown you and uh, it will give the input you know before uh, um, giving input it just it will just ask uh, various uh, inputs and after providing the inputs as per the requirement it will uh, create the you know uh, uh, it will create the time table uh, that we need so uh, let proceed so here is the folder name rajiv and uh, let's see uh, so this is the file uh, in which we the whole program is that is ttg.c so now we have to do is to just uh, execute this file uh, which contain the c program so uh, to execute this file we have to write you have to, we have to first make a object file with gcc and then ttg.c and slash show and the name of the object file uh, so i'm going to make object file with the name of rajiv itself so after compiling uh, you know it has been seen here so these are the things giving just a warning so nothing uh, will happen just continue so the compilation will done now we have to run this program so for, uh, for running the program we have to write dot slash rajiv the name of the object file and then the program runs so here is the input it will asking uh, enter the total days right the working days the number of lectures and the number of courses number of teachers and number of rooms so just here we have to put a input so first i am going to put a number of days so we have five number of working days and the next input will be number of lectures so um, uh, we have um, like um, uh, number of lectures is 7 and uh, uh, courses so i am just taking a course uh, number uh, i'm just taking a number of courses just one uh, as a mtech uh, what i am doing and uh, 
for teachers uh, we take uh, number of teachers is 5 and for number of rooms we take uh, two number of rooms so you know these are the inputs for you know this attributes lectures courses teachers rooms respectively right so after that uh, you know it will ask uh, different types of uh, more inputs like uh, enter room name uh, so the, because we have put here the number of room is 2 so it will ask the, the name of that room right so the name of the first room is you know means number the room number that is 201 and uh, enter room number for the second room is 202 sorry 202 and after that uh, it asks enter teacher name the first teacher name so let's give the name of the teacher like uh, uh, Dr. Deepak right and enter so enter teacher name second 01 and the indexing is starting from 0 so 0 is the first teacher 1 is the second uh, and 2 will be the third so the uh, second teacher's name is Dr. Pratik, right? And then again enter. The enter teacher name two. So Dr. Sunit. Now the next turn is next teacher is Dr. Chuang. And the next teacher is Dr. Arpit, right? Now after that, uh, you know, after uh, giving the input of five teachers' name, which uh, we have mentioned here, five, uh, uh, it asks about uh, the enter the course name, right? And uh, enter total subject. So actually, I missed the name of enter course name. So nothing happened. Let's uh, proceed to the next question. That is, enter total subjects. Uh, so total subjects. So we have um, like uh, again five subjects. I am just giving the input five. Right. I'm next enter. So uh, it is asking that uh, enter subjects name. So um, okay, advanced machine learning. That is AML. And uh, enter subject credit. So um, the credit of AML is two. So I just put input 2 here and the next is select a teacher for a, a subject right so it is asking that uh, uh, which teacher would you prefer for you know teaching AML subjects so we have to put 0 for Dr. Deepak 1 for Dr. Pratik 2 for Dr. Sunit and 3 for Dr. you know Chuang and four for Dr. Arpit, I guess, right? So uh, the next thing is to give one input. So I gave uh, number one input that uh, Dr. Pratik will uh, teach this subject uh, that is AML. Now proceed. So again, it is asking for the another subject name. So that is, you know, give anything like advanced data structure that is ADS, right? and then it will ask again the credit of this subject so again the credit is 2 so now again it is asking that uh, which teacher would you prefer for teaching the subject ADS so uh, okay fine I will give the input 0 and just put enter right so um, again it is asking for the third subject name and uh, for the third subject name I will give uh, like CCA and uh, press enter and again it will ask about the credit of uh, that particular subject CCA so again credit, credit is 2 right so um, put enter so again the same question that uh, which teacher, teacher will teach this subject so I will put uh, uh, input three here and press enter yeah you are not saying it because you know it is going beyond the part of this terminal so that is okay and uh, again for the third subject it is asking the subject name 
so um, third subject it lies like uh, iot internet of things and again credit is two and again the teacher will be you know dr chong so four so four is the input and press enter and again subject name uh, so subject name will be life skill so ls right press enter credit is uh, like uh, one and uh, again teacher name so i'll put two input here that and dr sunit will teach ls press enter so now it is asking that it enter a room for this course right so this is this is the mtech course and uh, it is asking that which room will you prefer uh, for the classes of mtech so uh, give anything we have two room 201 and 202 so let uh, give input 202 fine and press enter and wow so this is the timetable uh, which is automatically generated by this software so here is the lectures here is the day one day two day three day four until day five right and uh, you know actually after lunch we are not uh, we not gave any you know inputs um, so uh, we are deciding to pro you know uh, provide a lab work after lunch so this is this work is you know pending uh, now so it will be the future scope not future scope uh, it will be done soon so this is just a kind of demo uh, you know after giving m more input we can you know uh, see the complete timetable generator as like this right so this is a fantastic thing and just you need you have to do is to just give uh, all the inputs all the resources available and uh, on the basis of optimization it will give you the best accurate timetable in just a minimum time you know nothing uh, should be done manually right so this is our project and uh, uh, it can be seen it not it can be definitely we uh, you can see it uh, in the form of GU GUI uh, that uh, gives you a better look and feel. So um, uh, I'll show you just uh, uh, the example like uh, this is and this can be you know seems like this. So uh, timetable generator it will ask some input uh, from the user uh, like uh, days in a week, lectures in a day, number of courses, number of teachers, number of rooms and uh, after the uh, you know uh, push the create button uh, it will further ask some sub questions uh, inside this uh, that uh, uh, we have seen in the uh, in our you know uh, uh, demo part right and uh, uh, after submitting all the input it, it will give the you know timetable like in this form so uh, it is a better look and feel uh, we will get and it will uh, really uh, very beneficial for any schools and any colleges to create their timetable and thank you thank you so much